Um, well, hey, Sarah, how are you? Hey, Sherry, how's it going? <laughs> Good, I love your red background. <laughs> I love your trees out back. It looks like <laughs> such a beautiful day. <laughs> it, is, it is a lovely day in Iowa, and of course, it's COVID season, so you and I are still aren't going to have these together, but it's nice to see you, and it's nice to talk mm -hmm. about today's book. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So uh, for this episode of Booking It, we read The Seven Good Years by Edgar Carrot. Um, Edgar is an Israeli writer. He was born in 1967 to parents who both survived the Holocaust. Um, and he typically writes short stories. And this book is, is not an exception. It's a short story, uh, nonfiction book about his life. But usually he writes fiction books not nonfiction books. So that's a little bit of a difference. Um, he also writes graphic novels and he does TV and film screenplays. He's even done a film with his wife. They've worked together on a screenplay. Um, but Edgar's main love is short stories. And he says that he loves them the most because he grew up as a kid with asthma. And he says, you have to get out in a short amount of time what you're going to say because you may not be able to have your next breath. So <laughs> an interesting insight into why he loves the short stories. But yeah, um, just like you're going to learn about in the book, he lives in Tel Aviv. Um, he lives with his wife, Shira, and his son, Lev. Um, he, and he's also a citizen of Poland, uh, where his parents are originally from. And in Poland, he lives in the world's skinniest house. So he will talk about that in the book as well. Okay, and this book, Seven Good Years, is where he, as Sarah pointed out, these are all, you know, true stories. These is a memoir, but it's a short story format, or you'd say an essay. I'd say short story, right? Essays yes. to me is different. So this is short story, and basically it covers from the time that Lev, their son, is born, for seven years, um, until his father's death, and um, it, those are seven good years. And ironically, it begins with a terrorist attack. And, and he's, he's at the hospital for the birth of his son, while at the same time, people are coming in who are victims of the terrorist attack. And so that's how things begin. And it's just, it's, it's, it's funny, while at the same time, he's dealing with really serious subjects uh, and his take on the world and how things are where he is. So short story. how do you like the book, Sherry? Because we don't always <laughs> well, read a lot of short stories. No, we don't. And I think given the kind of reading that we've both done together, this was really a, a transition. It took me a little bit of time. As I was explaining, I had to go through and write little notes for every short story to remind myself of what the story was actually about, because the titles wouldn't necessarily help me remember that later. And sometimes the stories are so short, I was... I, you know, I almost had to catch my breath and go back and reread it to see if I understood what the story was about. How about you? Yeah, I definitely felt that same way. At the beginning, I had a hard time getting into the book to get it going. It just, it, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be because I've never read anything from this author before. So um, it was hard for me to get into the rhythm. But once I hit that rhythm with him, it just flew and then I found myself going back to the beginning and rereading and I I do feel like it's one of those books where maybe at first I started and I didn't I didn't grasp it but now um I think it's something I'll pick up again and want to return to and return to the author and read more from him yeah and and there's definitely a lot of stuff out in the webs where he's reading his work and I love to hear authors read their own work and I think that that adds to it now the the interesting Point, before we go any further that these were I think it was you who brought it up when we talked about this the other day this is a translation so I think that adds an interesting dynamic to the stories um, because they were probably written originally in uh, Hebrew or yeah I don't know he does talk about um, you know several different languages in the book so I'm not entirely sure um, he talks about having books written in Yiddish too but I don't know if this was originally written in Yiddish. So well, we don't know that. So, well, so uh, yeah, Edgar, if you're out there, let us know. But um, yeah, but, yeah. So that <laughs> I think that added to it. But what what story was your favorite one, Sarah? So my favorite story in the book was um, called Jam, 
and it is all about his um, super skinny house in Poland. So he, um, you know, tells us about how this all came to pass. He, he got this call um, from a blocked number and he answers it and this guy says, hey, I'm a Polish architect and um, I was walking down the street in Warsaw and I saw this gap between these two buildings and um, the gap spoke to me and said, you should build a house there. And he is like, who is this? So he goes, oh yeah, you should, you should always do what gaps between houses tell you to do. And, you know, and then he's like, thinks about it. He's like, this is the weirdest practical joke. I have no idea what's going on. Um, but then the architect, he comes to meet him in Tel Aviv because he realizes that, you know, this author thinks he's a crazy person. And he gets together with him and talks about how his idea of minimalist housing fits with um, Edgar's idea of like minim minimalist stories <laughs> and that he wants to combine their two ideals and make this this house and then later he even finds you know he shows the location of the house to his mother who's originally from Poland and finds out it's very historically important place for his family um, and it just becomes this beautiful story um, of him bonding with his, um, yeah, with his parents' homeland. Um, and so, like I said, he's got the dual citizenship too. Um, it really just is connecting his past and his present in a really beautiful way. And it's this really, it's, there's a lot of interesting stuff about this, um, this house, quote unquote, it's actually classified as an, um, an art installation because it, building codes don't allow it to actually be a house. <laughs> right. Right, and in fact, I will include, this is where I'm going to take a moment to say, this is our very second Book In It uh, podcast, or uh, vid vlog, I don't know, vlog. Anyway, vlog. please like vlog. us, yeah, please like us and subscribe, because we're going to be doing these each month, so I'm pointing down, because now you're going to hit that bell and the subscribe button and like us, but that said, I will also include links to the, the art installation, which is his house in Poland and some other stuff that Sarah and I talked about. So my favorite short story was Bleep Happens, which is when Edgar writes his first short story and discovers he, he really enjoys the process of writing and he shares it with his brother who gives him, you know, positive feedback about how great the story is and then promptly uses it to pick up the dog's doo-doo. But the point of the story actually is that Edgar discovers he loves this idea of sharing an idea or sharing a concept with somebody and that the value is in that more than what's on the page, you know. So I love that sentiment. I think for a writer or a creator of any kind, you just want to connect. You want to know that something you've done or created matters to somebody else and that matters. So that was beautiful. Yeah. So what do you think? Sir? We, do we recommend this book? Generally speaking, what would you say? Oh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this book. Um, I would encourage people to take their time getting into it, though, to just, you know, let it sink in. Um, yeah. Enjoy the humor until you hit your rhythm. <laughs> because I think um, you and me and um, several other people who we've spoken to who read the book with us, um, they have said they have all pretty much said the same thing. It took them a little bit to get into, but then right. then it was it was really um, it really made them think quite a bit about about life. So, and I would say um, it makes me want to learn more about life in Israel and the history of um, that area of the world. Wouldn't you agree? I'd agree. I I I, I just say. I... I don't really think I have even anything to add other than, yes, I think it's a, it's a great read. It's a short read. It's immersively short read. And it's um, a, and a short story does take a little bit of, um, it takes a little bit of time to get yourself in the space of that. But definitely, it, it brought up to me all the stuff I don't understand about Israel, which is a ton in the Middle East. I don't get it. So I had to go back. I was Wikipedia and this and looking up that because I didn't know a lot of things. So yeah, I'd agree with you. You're always so good about that. I kind of just glaze over and go, I'll figure it out later. But Sherry, she always digs into these things, I which did. I really appreciate. Right. And I'll include those links, some of the things that we found as we wrote, 
reread it um, in down down below in the little post that I write about this. But now we should finish up. It's not, our time is already coming to an end. So, Sarah, what's going on with you and your world right now? Well, um, this week has been better. Obviously, last week um, was just uh, dealing with the duration, the storm that happened here the in Richard. Iowa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that was super fun. Um, <laughs> we yeah. uh, didn't have power Monday through Friday, and then in the world of real estate, it was a lot of um, rescheduling people's home inspections and making sure their roofs were intact and. Um, even just on a personal level, um, I'm all set up to work from home due to the pandemic. And it's like, oh, well, now I don't have power and internet, so I need to go to the office, which in a way it's great because there's a bunch of other people there too who are great support. You know, somebody, even an agent even bought me packs of ice because he knew <laughs> he didn't have power. He's like, I bought ice for you guys. And, you know, so, I mean, I will say about the real estate community is that uh, when the going gets tough, we do bond together. So... <laughs> Nice. Always but everything's thing. back on and you're back to, you're, you're good. You're back. So you know, the housing market is still, it's amazing. I mean, given the economy yeah. and everything, the housing market is really doing okay, right? Yeah, it is. It is. We're still shortage of homes on the market. So if anybody I mean, wants to sell home, Iowa. It's, it's a great time to do it. Yeah. And then rates right, are right. like buyers, so plug, it's a great time to plug. buy. Yeah. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> okay. Well, on my end, let's see. Um, so personally at home, the garbage collection is going on right now, folks, in case you missed it. At least nobody's <laughs> moving the lawn. Um, and I just got a new project this week. I'm really excited. I'm going to be working with a family. So, you know, I've been a, in my business, I create books, you know, for families and businesses and stuff. And I got a call this week from a family that's, they, they, they actually have the piece written. So we're going to really be doing the design and layout and creating this legacy book. And that, and what I love about them is they're like, they take a ton of time, which is why you hire somebody like me, because it's a ton of time and it's a lot of work. But when you get done, you have this reference resource that family members can pull down and say, now, when did that happen again? And who was there? And that sort of thing. So I'm really excited. We'll be starting that. In fact, I have a, my first conference call with um, this person this afternoon with my daughter, who's my team, my, my business partner. So I'm stoked about that. Nice. Nice. That, that's really beautiful. I love that idea that you're just making something that they'll just cherish for generations. So it's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I think about them opening it up and dropping egg salad on it and then they flip it. I mean, it, it's a, it's a living, breathing. <laughs> that's what I was but anyway. So what else know. are you reading right now? Well, okay. So let's see what well, I'm going to be reading my very first um, book that you recommended. Um, do we want to tell that? I have it right here. <laughs> yeah, that's your next the book. <laughs> So yeah, um, so well, I don't know. I, I, I've heard of her before. I know that she's really good and other people love her. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. That's about it. What about you? Yeah. Um, well, in addition to the bean trees, I also am going to be starting um, this book, Blackfish City. Um, it's going to be, it's some sort of like post-apocalyptic uh, sci-fi kind of narrative. Um, so I think that's going to be super fun for the end of summer. Um, and then... I also am going to be taking a little vacation next month and just wanted something like fun to sink into and long. So I decided maybe I was going to read um, the first Outlander book. Um, oh. So we'll see. I mean, that's kind of ambitious. I, I think I have careful. another book that I need to be reading too. So <laughs> yeah, I'd be careful. I, I, don't, I haven't read the books I watched the series and they're really yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, I, I have, I've, I've watched the series, so I thought, well, maybe I'll you know. read the first book, and, you know, I thought that sounded like a cozy kind of cabin read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow, well, and I forgot, I didn't even bring our other book that we'll be reading, um, the nonfiction one that, um, yes. which I don't have the title of, but we'll talk about that next time. So anyway, yeah, so, yeah. You know, Let's hope for no derecho, derecho no more derechos, uh, maybe a reprieve from COVID for a while, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Nice weather. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, take take care and and, and pick up the book. We recommend. Yeah. Bye. Bye.